Now, Bygone Days, presented by Helen McDermott. And welcome to another bygone days aboard the good ship Hydrogen. She's a 95-foot barge, and what a beauty she is. In fact, she's the largest of only 30 wooden Thames barges still afloat. The Hydrogen was built almost 100 years ago. And these days, in semi-retirement, the old lady is used mainly for pleasure. Sailing from Malden in Essex, parties can now charter the barge for the day or spend a weekend afloat. All very different from a time when the Hydrogen and hundreds of other barges like her would transport heavy cargo up and down the east coast. Well, a quarter of a century ago, the original Bygones program featured one of the Hydrogen's sister ships, the Edith May, and her octogenarian skipper. It seems hard to imagine that these old hulks, which litter the Essex mudbanks, were once vital to the whole economy of East Anglia. They are the battered remains of the once noble sailing barges, which plied out of London River with huge bulk cargoes like grain from the prairies or Russian timber to the wharves of Malden, Ipswich and Yarmouth. Yet of all the survivors, none is finer than the Edith May birthed in the basin at Haybridge and skippered by 80-year-old Jack Spitty. My first trip on a barge was at 10 years of age on school holidays. And I went for this trip with a cargo of flour from London to Poole. My parents couldn't afford to uh, put me to college or anywhere to get a good education. Then in 1903, my father, he was skipper of the barge called the Water Lily, and uh, his third hand left. So he said to me, I think, boy, you'll have to come with me. I was as pleased as could be. And off I went at the age of 14. That was my start. I got three shillings a week and my keep. And uh, our general cargoes were corn, timber, coal, stonework, Ports, hay and straw. We used to take them mostly from London to Dover, Yarmouth, Ipswich, Colchester, Malden, all around the coast. And uh, I remember loading out of a sailing ship once with guana. That's birds dropping. And that was a smelly old cargo for fertilising. Took it to Ipswich. My dad was a fisherman bold. And he lived till he grew old. Till he opens the pane and he pops out the flame just to see how the wind do blow. There were times when there wasn't a lot of work about, and we used to have to, what we call seeking work. We used to light the boys in London River and go up to the city and go around the broker's offices to get a freight. And that was the skipper's responsibility. It's nothing to do with the owner or whatever. It was a skillful job sailing a barge up London River, and the rivers were so congested then, sometimes we had a cargo of hay and straw, and that was about halfway up the mast. You couldn't see a thing from the wheel. You used to have to rely on the mate up on the stack to tell you where to go. We'll run for home now, Jim. So we'll run straight up now. This old barge was built at Harwich in Essex by a man named Cam, who I consider was one of the best builders of barges ever. And in a breeze, she'll do eight to nine knots with a cargo. And it's a great thrill when they're getting along like that. One year, she won all the four races, which is Thames, the Medway, the Blackwater, and the Orwell. And there's no other barge has done it. She is one of the fastest there is, in my opinion, afloat today. And I don't think there's many will dispute that.
Jack Spitty and the Edith May, now moored at St Catherine's Dock in London and sadly no longer sailworthy, I'm told.